I have no idea why I love teaching, except I've been doing it for a very long time. And I've had a lot of fabulous people to follow. But I know that in 1970s, my teacher said to me, you are a teacher. And she allowed me right at the beginning when I was 15 to start teaching. And then by bringing me to the Royal Ballet School, which is a little Canadian, you can imagine it was probably make or break. Was I gonna be strong enough to stay or was I gonna go home? And once I'd made the decision to stay, then it was wide open doors. Miss Adams, the teachers that I watched. My motivation to teach is probably watching the feedback on the students that I work with, whether they're year 11s or year 7s. I enjoy solving a problem, you know, and I think that the boys trying to get them to understand how to reach their potential is that pleasure. Um, and it motivates me. It really sadly does. How can I figure this out? He's struggling with the pirouettes. What can I do? Today we were talking about mouse and cat, and the mouse went and the cat went Rrr. and all the boys look at you and go, oh, you're daft, Miss Keelan. But it's that kind of trying to get them to try and then encouraging it when it's right. Miss Adams gave me a chance and I always, I know this sounds daft, but I believed I was going to be a good teacher. What helped me was to have the foundations of that course and the knowledge that actually I did know something. What also helped was that in 1976, when I joined the staff, they then gave me Marion Lane's pirouette class, Katie Wade's battery class. So you were constantly learning. And that watching the company classes, watching when they began to shift to more uh, warm up before the first plie, I used to watch the men stay longer for more allegro, the legs were looking, you know, I just, you were always learning. Even today when Christopher Pownie brings in guest teachers like Patrick Armand, and we sit and we watch and we challenge, oh, I'm gonna try that. A great student is somebody who listens and who tries. It's not about having it all, that's very nice when they do, but it's the little beaver at the back that wants it. You have to be selfish. You have to be self-motivated to practice while you're talking to your mom on the phone, your metatarsal exercises, the stretch of the back of the knee, your folds in half. Yes, but you also have to apply and want to learn. And that student needs time. And so you need to create an atmosphere where that student can discover what makes a good student to work smart and at year seven even in year nine <laughs> we don't always work smart we you know and that and i i love that i love that on it's not always motive you can't always see it and that makes it exciting <laughs>